had a very Mediterranean vibe. We wanted to really create something that felt like, almost like you weren't in an inner suburban suburb of Melbourne. Hi, I'm Georgia Ezra, owner of interior design firm Studio Ezra and Tiles of Ezra. I'm Richie Morris, uh, the owner and director of Morris & Co Construction. And this is? This is our, our home. home. So when we found this beautiful, charming home, we realised it had amazing bones. And I could see such amazing, beautiful charm, so many beautiful details. It was a 1950s house, Spanish mission, beautiful arches out the front and with a gorgeous extension out the back. What we found though was that there were these large spaces that were not being used so well. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a, a lot of natural light. We found some of the brickwork had decayed a little bit, but all in all, the place was in really good condition. I think we wanted to really create something that felt like you were taken off the streetscape and into our own escape, almost like you weren't in an inner suburban suburb of Melbourne. So we really wanted to transport people when they entered the home. We wanted to feel like we weren't in Melbourne when we entered the home. We knew that we wanted something that was healthy for our family. We've got two young children and we wanted them growing up in a house that made them feel, you know, calm, you know. We, Special we, and we, take them out we of We need norm, them really. to, to stay calm, yeah. right? As calming as we can. Um, so that was another really important part of our brick entrance. And you're greeted by a beautiful oversized arch facing you with a, a framed by an arch wall. Two of the main bedrooms are off this front entrance. Before we renovated, there was a really large living room and we converted that into a walk-in robe. En suite. And master bedroom. And master bedroom. Has just transformed it into an amazing master oasis. So the other bedroom off the front entrance is our son's bedroom with connecting en suite. And then you head out to the main walkway that takes you through eventually to the living and dining area. But off this walkway, you'll find our daughter Hallie's room and our guest, I guess, powder room, which is, it's got our, a bath and a skylight and a shower over bath. And it's probably the largest bathroom in the house. Our son calls it the hokey pokey bathroom yep. because the floor has the Moroccan tiles with these gorgeous soft green little squares in between different tiles. So it's yep. like dotty. But the walkway is a really beautiful feature in our house and one that a lot of people wow at. And the whole thing is arched the entire way. Buildability in, in, in regards to that arched hallway, that was, a, that was a challenge. It's a bit of an art form to try and get the plaster to really go around the substrate. So there was a lot of toing and froing with the contractors and the designer. I made them take it down twice. Three times. Then moving into the, uh, the yeah, main so living area. Yes, so into the main living area, this is where all the magic happens. We really wanted an open plan living space. Practicality, functionality of lifestyle is key. It is number one. And for us, we just really needed an open plan, living, dining space that connected all at one, purely just to have the kids in the kitchen all the time and be able to know what they're doing and see what they're doing, but also include them in the cooking and the dancing and the music and everything. And we did do a lot of work off this room as well by creating two large sets of bifold doors that literally open up straight out onto the alfresco. Off the kitchen goes into the kids' playroom and then connects us to our laundry. I have a tile business, Tiles of Ezra, and for me it has always been a dream to have these raw, unglazed, beautiful pieces of artisan work from our front door to our back doors throughout the whole house. They're 100% made by hand from the earth of Morocco. So you're really walking on the earth of Morocco. It's, it's not a mass produced, machine made product. It literally grounds the space. It does an amazing job in 
making the home feel warm and earthy and they don't get cold in winter, they absorb the, the temperature around. So if you've got heating on, they feel warm, they suck it up. But the tiles go a little bit further than that. We've put them in all three bathrooms on the wall. We've used unglazed tiles. We've used our glazed beige mat in a white as our splashback. Our fireplace is also coated with a hand cut mosaic. All of our tiles are completely made by hand. With regard to paint, we used a lime wash, which is just such a magic product. Labour intensive exercise to apply it. It's done completely by hand with a brush stroke. And one thing that we discovered when using it was that not two individuals' stroke are always the same. Another great feature of this house is the use of wall lights. Georgia has designed all these feature wall lights throughout the house. It's in our hallway, it's in all the bedrooms, it's all in the bathrooms in this main area. And they're all made out of clay, again handmade. These are obviously exclusive to her homewares brand AHW, which she sells. And I think with our styling, when you look around the house, there's not one thing that's mass produced. Everything has been collected from our travels or has a special story behind it or was picked up from an op shop. I feel like all of this collectively creates a space that's exclusively ours. I'm passionate about creating a home that's one off to you, something that you love so much that maybe someone else wouldn't want in their, in their own home. To me that's magic and that's important because it then creates timeless interiors. They don't fade or away with trends. They forever live with you because they were so exclusive to your desires, your wants, what hits your soul when it comes to design. And the existing house compared to the house now, I mean, we have kept a lot of the bones, but it's a completely different feeling. You're going from a 1950s that's had bits and pieces of add-ons, quite dark, dingy, old, to a l open space, warm, special, light, light feeling.